Hello everyone. So today I rented a Himalayan, uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan motorcycle um, out here in um, Sykesville, Maryland. Um, so I'm just uh, just got it checked in and whatnot, and uh, um, getting ready now to ride it back home. The gloves don't fit me so I'm gonna ride without the gloves. Um, I forgot to get mine from New York. Okay, everything else is good. Let's go. I really like the sound of this motorcycle. Not better than uh, Classic 350 though. is not very comfortable on this motorcycle because it feels like you're like hunched over um, your your butt is a little bit lifted from from the backside not shifting through the gears properly. Like it shifts up perfectly normal, but then shifting down is a problem. The brakes on this um, are also a little bit better than the Classic 350. They don't feel as mushy as the Classic 350. Um, they're pretty more respon pretty much more responsive than um, the Classic 350. And throttle is more responsive as well. I guess some of that is expected um, with the fact that this is an adventure bike and that is a cruiser. Um, but I think that uh, it wouldn't have taken anything away from the feel of Classic 350 as a cruiser. It feels a lot colder now, like the, the wind is, uh, it's coming in like streams of cold wind and hot wind. It feels weird on land without any uh, gloves. But uh, the gloves that this guy um, that I rented the motorcycle from gave me, they're like medium, so... Um, like my hands couldn't... I mean they fit okay, but then when I was going to reach for the clutch or the brake, um, my hands were already like uh, cramping up. 
so I didn't want that to cause a problem. That's uh, that's why I'm not wearing any gloves. But this bike actually instills um, confidence in you. Um, it feels nimble, feels comfortable. Other than the seat, um, feels very responsive. Um, makes the rider feel like you're in control. It's not a fast bike by any stretch of the imagination. It's a bike where, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of like um, you take it in the city streets, a little bit of uh, adventure off-road, a little bit of off-roading. You don't want to make it, uh, you, don't wanna, you don't really want to go crazy on it because it's just not that type of bike. Um, people who are new to biking or want to learn, uh, it's a great bike for, uh, for anybody like that. Um, and then I also sort of figured out what, what was um, wrong with the, the shifting. I think my, I, had, I had like my foot on the here on the on the shift lever and it wasn't uh, coming all the way back up um, to engage the, the uh, consecutive gear and so that's why it wasn't uh, letting me gear down now it's all fine I love the fact that I can come here um, so a little bit south of Maryland and uh, take a day to ride a different motorcycle. This was on the bucket list probably for a while. I may have ended up, uh, I might have ended up getting this one instead of the Classic 350, but then I opted for the Classic 350 because it was newer. Um, and then I'm just a fan of them, but uh, with the red logo combined. Um, this bike actually has the tachometer, which I like. Uh, I like looking at it, uh, even though, yes, like by the time you're a good rider, you can judge by the sound of the engine that you need to uh, shift up or shift down. Um, but I think it's a nice visual to have, um, even if you're not really looking at it all, all the time. Uh, it tells me about the trip miles. I started at 21 miles. It shows me the gear. It has a gear indicator, which I really like, which uh, is not on the classic interface. Um, like that uh, is something that I miss having on the classic interface. Like by the time I'm like 55 miles an hour, uh, gearing or shifting up um, from the first gear, it's always hard to track. I'm gonna make a stop to um, cycle gear on the way get some gloves because I won't be riding like this tomorrow. Um, get some gloves and then by the time I go back to New York, so I have my own gloves. I just forgot to bring them. Uh, by the time I go back to New York, I'm going to go ahead and return them because I don't need them. I just need them for a day. <laughs> going to see if I can find a cycle gear on the way. Oh, they're all closed. It opens tomorrow at 10 a.m. so I'll go... Okay, I'll go tomorrow. I think it's already 7 o'clock. Okay. No worries. I'll go tomorrow. If you liked today's video, please do uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time.